Yo guys, Chris here, back with a F1 2018 video, and as you saw by the intro there, uh, we'll be doing Toro Rosso, and I am recreating Lando Norris. Now, Lando Norris is an up-and-coming driver in the McLaren team program, but we're going to pretend that uh, he uh, is in the Toro Rosso program. Team selection here is, yeah, this is how they are ranked. So you can see the Red Bull Toro Rosso is all the way down there. It's the third worst. Uh, thing is though, control the midfield uh, with the reputation for developing promising drivers and attracting technical expertise. This is a team that expects consistent points, has ambitions to be at the very front of that mid pack. Franz Toss is our guy, we're an Italian team. And if you look here, so we have the S13 chassis and they want showmanship. So, one people who would like the team is to see the Aston Martin Red Bull Racing is number three. But look at the engines flyer, right? So, Ferrari have the Ferrari engine, has have the Ferrari engine. And Sauber have the Ferrari and have the Mercedes engine. Force India have the Mercedes engine. And Williams have the Mercedes engine. And then the Renault engine is on the McLaren, Renault, Aston Martin. Oh, it says tag here, but it's the Renault engine. And we are the only ones with the Honda engine because it is the worst engine, but we're going to build it up. Thanks for coming by. I'm sure you're very anxious to get out on track. It's taken a lot of effort to get to F1. Congratulations. But the real work starts now. This is... Claire, motorsports journalist. Nice to meet you. You'll be seeing quite a lot of me throughout the season. So, you had a pretty impressive junior career. How are you feeling about your move into F1? Do you think you have what it takes? Let's save the questions for a proper interview, shall we? <laughs> I'm sure you'll have a lot more to talk about once there's been some action on track. I think we could fit you in after FP1 if you're free. That works for me. I'll grab you the second you finish on the track. Remember, the relationship you have with the team can be affected by what you say to the media. So be careful. Anyway, it's time to catch up with Carl. He's waiting for you in the data center. Good luck out there today. Data center. Here, we've got access to all kinds of information, including car telemetry, weather, lap times, tire wear, the list goes on. Plus, we've got a direct link back to the factory. So we're in constant communication with the team there. We need you to regularly feedback about areas of the car that are lacking and help us direct our resources in the most productive way. More effort here equals a quicker car, so it's well worth the effort. Good luck this season. Oh, and make us all look good, okay? So here we are in our data center, there's Gasly. Right across from us, so I like how that's a thing here. Look around, stuff like that. So, we go to our chassis. We are not the worst team. Uh, as you see, our chassis is actually the fourth worst team. So, it's definitely not the worst, right? Uh, reliability, we have... Okay, we kind of... Uh, there are rule changes in the middle, which is actually like in the middle of the season or something, which is kind of cool, so we do it to like protect the parts there. But look, powertrain, we're the worst. So uh, that's what we're going to have to put our upgrade points into. And arrow, we're actually fourth worst again there. So all of our stuff's going to be going to the powertrain. In fact, uh, we actually have resource points now. So, uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll get the first one done there. We'll go for the wing. It's going to take two weeks, a chassis upgrade as well here. And now the, only, the way we get kind of points is by doing the practice sessions. Alright, here we go. We're max in hot lap mode, as you can see, from our battery and fuel mix. Very dirty out of there. Alright, I told you guys I'm terrible at this track, and that timing really did prove it. Uh, we're only ahead of Marcus Erickson right now. Pretty sure he's going to beat us out, and we're not going to make it to the next session. Seems about good. Let's check our things here, standard, and high, let's go. And we're off here. 
probably got a way better start. That's the Mercedes engine for you. I can just tuck in hard braking. A little three wide here. I'm actually gonna get across both Ericsson and Stroll. Uh, let's keep this uh, ARS in high, feeling standard. A lot of braking here. I'm gonna go up the inside. Ericsson on the outside. It's definitely pushing. There you go. Look at that exit. They're battling up here. Uh, let's pack in once again. Don't want to challenge. Three wide in that corner. The clerk with a slow corner kind of look like. We're going to go up the inside. Actually going to dive Perez too. He's not giving it up either. But I just barely got across. Slow there. Air is still on high. Let's put in overtake as Perez is trying to go across us. Not going to give him the uh, space there in turn 8. I'm sure you can tell this is not my best track. In fact, my worst track. Alright, let's put it back into high here. Uh, it's going to be weird kind of doing these little things. ARS and... Alright, we actually caught back up Stoffel Van Dorn here. And Alonso, both the McLarens. Alright, checking. Our pit window is lap 6. Tires are doing actually really well right now. Maybe we don't have to go in that early. We'll have to see how it's going. I think Gasly is slowing up. Yes, he is. I... Okay, okay. A lot of guys just took their pits. Oh, we got into P10. I'm trying to use all the battery this lap. I'm trying. Catch up to this man. That McLaren is actually very quick. It's probably an overtake mode as well. So I'm gonna put this back down that yellow flag. This deck on the standard, there's only a yellow flag up here. Oh, what happened to him? Probably an engine failure. So I'll know the engines too. Oh, that's a simple wall. Yeah, it's P12. You're in P12. Alright, we're in P12, yeah. Doing back here, he is. Why is the Mercedes back here? They qualified one, two. Something must have happened. I have Dan. I can't out. open the rear wing. I've never seen that before. Perez is gonna bolster up the inside. I'm gonna guard that. All right. Well, I can't use the ARS, which kind of sucks. Uh, but that only sucks if they're in front of me. And you can only use the RS or DRS if they are in front of you. You're there by less than a second. It only helps on the straight, and I, I don't think I'm gonna need too much of that unless I do more of that, letting Bottas go through. We bring back down the standard. And take the outside line here, so I get the inside. Oh no, I went slower. I ruined that second sector there. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Eleventh. I'll take it. Missed the points by one. Should not have finished eleventh. I mean Gasly was out of the race. Uh Magnuson went out of the race. Van Dorn went out of the race. And Hulkenberg. We should have got fifteenth, but I'll take it. Lewis finishing fourth out of the podium. He's not a happy camper. So here they come now, out onto the podium. Wherever you go, uh, anywhere the two in red the world, balls. the prancing horse flags are dominant in the grandstands. Yet the and Ferrari wins. Again today. It's Ferrari on the. Let's take a look at All the right. driver standings. Kimi that all got takes the lead of the driver's Signed championship. Signed six, Grosjean and seventh, like Alonso eighth, Ocon ninth. Your driver of the day? I have to give it to Morris. Look oh, at we where got they finished compared to cool. where they started. Probably because we started easy to cut through the field like so far. Hamilton, yeah, he really kind of fell there. Onto the Vettel, then. Ferrari yeah. moved to the uh, top of the table. Well, what a weekend that has been. Please join us next time for another thrilling installment. I did finish part of the first rock and strong. Ericsson, though. Uh, like I said, next episode, I don't really have too many... Actually, let's look at our R&D train. Let's see if we can upgrade. Let's put some more effort into the powertrain here. We have this one in development. Let's go for... Uh, let's go for the uh, chance of failing a little bit less. 
It's definitely what we're going to want. So that's how we spent our points so far. Uh, so yeah, we'll have a few upgrades onto the car. Uh, a lot of them are going to take two weeks, though. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be doing practice next episode. I'm just going to have it set up already, or I would have done it. Uh, but if you look at our vehicle performance on the bottom here, with those three upgrades, we actually could jump Sahara Force India. Uh, but McLaren jumped Force India already. Actually, no. They were there already. I thought McLaren was down, though. I don't know. Uh... Yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, though. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.